This is going to be, a, I think, a really cool analysis and really helpful for any of you that are wondering, do you want to invest in a Fast Twist 270? Is the performance gain worth it over maybe if you have a 270 that's a 1 in 10 twist, which that's pretty much what's been out there for 100 years. So. There's a lot of data here on the screen and this screen will be up the whole video so you can freeze it and study it however you want. But I put this together to help us kind of make this analysis. Now, not all of this is proven out, okay? So, and I'll talk about that, but let's just kind of walk through what we've got here. So this in the upper left, this 170 grain nozzle ballistic tip 0.560 and that's the VC. Okay, this is what we've achieved with the last couple videos okay we got right at 2850 and then i set the ballistics calculator to be three high i set the zero range so that we'd be three high at 100 and then we could kind of see how this plays out out to 500 okay so we know this is this is outstanding right you're getting 1800 foot pounds to 400 you're only 15 low um that's a, that's a great load okay that'd be great for all the big game that I hunt in the lower 48 for sure. Um, just out of curiosity, I ran the 170 grain Burger Elite Hunter, which has an off the charts BC of 0.662. And you can see that it's, you know, naturally even better than that ballistic tip. It's packing almost 2,000 foot pounds out to 400. And the trajectory is an inch better. So, it's just got more retained velocity at 400 because of that BC. So that's a really long bullet. And I'm sure the one in seven and a half would stabilize it. I haven't bought any of these yet, but um, I'm, and I'm not familiar with how they perform on game. So it, I just haven't done it, but, but obviously that's even stepping up a little bit from the ballistic tip in terms of downrange energy. Um, I ran the 160 grain nozzle partition down here in the lower left and assuming we could get 2900, okay, um, you know, it's a great choice too. It's going to pack 1500 all the way to 400 yards. It does drop off a little quicker because that BC is lower, okay, but still uh, an incredible uh, option for the 270 now. We need to prove out the 2900, okay, we haven't done that. Um, I would say that what I love the most about this is the word partition, okay? Because that bullet's gonna perform whether you shoot something one foot away from you at a velocity of 2,900 or whether you shoot something 500 yards away at a velocity of 1869, you're going to get 60 to 70% retention. You know exactly what you're gonna get out of the partition, which is why it's kind of the, the king of all hunting bullets in my opinion. And, that's usually a very interesting topic, but uh, 2,900 needs to be proven out. And stabilizing that 160, um, again, some people do it with 1 in 10. Uh, a lot of people can't. A lot of people are struggling to get that stabilized. I didn't get it to stabilize in 1 in 10. I know some people have. So these three options here, the two 170s and the 160, I'm more comfortable with the faster twist. You know, I, I don't know. Um, I, I've seen some videos where people have gotten the 165 Acubon long range to shoot well in 1 and 10. So it is possible. I don't think it's um, the rule. I think it's the exception. Now here's where it gets a little bit interesting. Okay? I did an analysis on 150 grainers. And these top two, the center and the right, are the nozzle ballistic tip, which has a BC of 496. Okay? If you can get 2950 out of that, here are the ballistics packing 1,600 out to 400 yards, less than 15 inches low, okay? At 2,900, if 2,900 is all a guy could get, you're still packing over 1,500 to 400 and you're still only 15 low. So I think, you know, let's just be clear, right? If you can get 2,900 with 150 grain nozzle ballistic tip, and you can get stability out of that bullet in your one in 10 twist, you probably don't need to bump up to a faster twist, okay? 
you're really getting great performance out of the 270. You just, you know, what you're missing out on maybe would be the performance at 500, but for most people that's, you know, unnecessary. So if you can stabilize 150 grainers out of your one in 10 twist, you're really not gaining much by switching to the 170s or the faster twists so you can run heavier bullets. If you can't stabilize the 150s, that's a different topic. Now this gets very true if you look at this Acubon long range, guys. 0.591 is a great BC. If you can get 2950 um, and you can stabilize that out of your one in 10, you're, you have an awesome setup. Okay, you are carrying elk energy out to 500. Uh, your retain velocity is the high at 400 is the highest of any of these that we've looked at. You're only 13 inches low at 400. That's an amazing. Even if you can only get 2,900 out of that in your rifle and you can stabilize it and get accuracy, you're still 1,700 foot pounds at 400. You're only 14 low. You're almost 1,500 pounds at 500. So this, if you can stabilize that long range Acubond out of your one in 10 and you're hitting 2,900 in the 150 grainer, you're not gaining hardly anything by jumping up to these uh, heavier bullets, okay? And then let's just take it down even a notch. Let's take it to the 140s, okay? 140 grain nozzle ballistic tip, 0.456. If you can get 3050 out the muzzle, guys, you're breaking 1,500 foot-pounds at 400 yards and you're only 13 low, 12.7 low. This was actually the flattest shooting um, of any of these that we looked at. So, you know, it's pretty interesting. I think this is, this is probably no surprise, guys, right? I doubt that we were the first ones the last few years that started crying for a fast twist 270 and thought it would be amazing and it would change the rifle, the cartridge. Um, people probably looked at that a long time ago and saw diminishing returns happen pretty quickly, okay? But it all comes down to stabilizing. Like the, the Acubon long range, okay, I don't know. I don't know how many one in tens can shoot that. If they can, you shouldn't go buy a fast twist rifle. Okay, it's just that simple. You already are maximizing really what the 270 can do. The one exception would be if you do hunt beyond 400 yards, there starts to be a difference over here with these 170s, okay? There starts to be a difference in terms of energy um, and especially with that burger, okay? But I think, you know, very few people are using the 270 as a long range hunting platform. So guys, hope this is helpful. We will um, be proving some of this out, okay? We're gonna see what velocities we can get with 150s. We're gonna see what we can get with the 160. We'll come back and look at all this, but I think this is really taking it to ground and helping us understand um, what's going on. And maybe I need to drag that Tika T3X out with the one in 10 twist. Could we stabilize 150 grain Acubons in there? Could we get 2,900 with the 22 inch barrel? Then you know if that's true, um, you're really just kind of messing around with these other um, fast twist options. All right, guys, we'll catch up soon.